What did you say? What am I doing? Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. channel oh what did you say what am i doing oh nothing i'm just sitting here on my couch under my new hand mitted blanket just enjoying the day <laughs> no i am so excited about this blanket i hand knitted this blanket and i'm gonna be showing you how to do it so if you're interested just keep on watching start you want to make a knot to do this you take the live yarn which is the yarn still attached to the ball of yarn and put it over the short piece of yarn just like you see here and then you're going to take your hand through that hole grab the live yarn and pull it through the hole this is what makes the knot and this is what makes your first loop Here I'm just adjusting the loop to the size that I desire it to be. Once you made your first loop, now we're going to start constructing the blanket. To start, you want to put your hand through the loop and pull the live yarn through the loop. You want to keep following this step until you get it the length that you desire your blanket to be. I did this about 30 times. Typically, you want to do it uh, between 10 to 15 times for the length of your blanket. going to speed this process up a little bit. Now you've gotten it to your desired length, we're going to start the second row. How you do that is you want to take your live yarn and thread it through the side. You will see what I'm talking about once we get about halfway down the line. You want to thread it all the way down to the end with the same loop. 
when you're threading your live yarn through the side, you want to make sure that you're making the loops about the same size. Depending on the size you want your blanket to be, you will need a larger workspace eventually. Now that you're down to the end, we're going to start the third row. You do this by taking your finger through that loop and bringing the live yarn through the loop. You're going to do this until you get back down towards the end and then you're going to continue on to the third row, then to the fourth row, then to the fifth row until you get to the desired width of the blanket that you like. gotten a few rows in. So with my blanket, I used about six bundles of yarn. At some point, you will run out of a bundle. What you do to start the next bundle is you just simply take it the end of each bundle and tie them together in a knot. Then if you have any like yarn pieces hanging, you just cut those with the scissor. This is how it looks with about three bundles of yarn. Maybe you're almost done? <laughs> I got one more bundle left. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that we've gotten to the end and you've finished using all the bundles that you purchased to make your blanket, now I'm going to show you how to end or how to close it off. You want to take two loops at the end and then you're gonna thread the live piece of yarn through both loops, just like you see here.
Now once you get to the end of the blanket to your last two loops you pull the live thread all the way through both loops and then you tighten it up in a knot just like so and then you cut you can either cut the remaining thread or you can loop the remaining thread inside the blanket so guys that's the end of this video let me know how you liked it down in the comments below Please make sure you share this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification button. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.